I'm back with another miniature house, the dreamy garden house from real life. Some of you may remember the Kathy's flower house, which I had shared last year. The dreamy garden house is one of their newest sets. I believe the difficulty level for this one is much lower compared to Kathy's flower house. So if you're a beginner, I would recommend this set. These are the tools included and you'll also be needing a scissor and a knife. It's not shown there, but you'll also need a glue for some parts. With this shelf, for instance, you don't need a glue, but I've used just a little bit to make sure the parts don't come off. I've used a glue for pretty much anything, but you don't actually have to. What I love about this new set is that you stick the plastic with the sticker sheet onto the wood instead of using glue. I also love the fact that the door is movable with the help of these little tools. Let me tell you that it's impossible to glue the flower onto the stem, so instead I've used these clear sticker sheets. I also love the fact that the flowers come pre-made. You still assemble them yourself, but the leaves and the flowers are from plastic and you just cut them off and put them together. That's why I believe this set is beginner friendly. If you're not sure what I mean with the difficulty level, you can watch the assembling video of Kathy's flower house on my channel. In that set the flowers are made from paper, so you have to make them yourself from scratch, which is a lot of time consuming, but also lots of fun. For this next step I recommend using the clear sticker sheets, otherwise the tulips keep falling off of the desk. Another reason why this set is big enough friendly are these fault lines that are pre-made so it's much easier to make all these small boxes.
another highlight is this beautiful window. Of course, it's movable. What's left next is assembling everything together. I've painted the edges of the base white. For that, I've used acrylic gouache from Lucutex. The instructions don't say anything about painting the edges, but I want them to be white since the garden house itself is also white. You can use any color you like, or you can just skip this step. Let me tell you that these stickers make assembling the glass house itself so much easier. I remember having to use glue for Katie's flower house and it could easily turn into a mess. I also love how easy it is to put these parts together. The plastic has dotted lines, you just need to bend those and then insert into each other. A side note for this part, you need to remove the little brown cover on the left side and put the wire through that hole. Batteries are not included in the set, so you have to get them additionally. Connect the yellow wire with the red wire and wrap the insulating tape around them. And just do the same with the black and white wires. And that's how it looks when I'm all done. As a cat lover, I'm in love with the little entrance for cats on the door and you can actually move the door. If you have any questions about this miniature garden house, just comment them down below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.